This video is based on 10 years of experience with the Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Project in Uzbekistan. This project, financed by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, is intended to be a guideline for rural populations to implement their own individual drinking water system. The absence of safe drinking water contributes to poor sanitary and hygiene conditions, which, in turn, negatively affect the health situation of the rural population, especially children, due to a high prevalence of waterborne diseases. In some villages, there is no access to clean drinking water. Many existing systems are outdated, are poorly built and maintained, and therefore do not guarantee the long-term delivery of portable water at an affordable price. Women are in the front line and more affected by the burden of constantly fetching water. And people have to pay about 300 sum per bucket of truck water, which is approximately 40,000 sum for a cubic meter of water of questionable quality. Do you face such issues? There are possible solutions to tackle water supply issues in rural areas. One of the solutions is the Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Project in Uzbekistan, financed by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation and implemented by the International Secretariat for Water in the Fergana Valley. This project started in 2004. Since then, 24 water systems have been constructed. They have provided water to more than 100,000 people in rural areas of the Fergana Valley. Each of these systems is managed by a DWO, Drinking Water Organization, established on the initiative of each village and accountable to the villagers. This principle allows each village to control and manage its individual water system, including the funds that are collected for its operation. As of today, some systems have been run sustainably for more than 10 years. Do you also need the water in your village to be improved? How could this mechanism be implemented in your village? To do that, the village will have to implement several processes and activities simultaneously with the full engagement of and by the village population. As a starter, the village has to identify a usable drinking water source sufficient for village needs, as well as the necessary permission from the sanitary and epidemiological services. Then, the village authorities, with the support of the initiative groups, mobilize their local population for the realization of the water supply system. They call a meeting of village representatives. This is the General Assembly. The Assembly elects a management board in charge of the everyday life of the drinking water organization. The management board reports to the General Assembly and to another elected body, the Revision Committee, which supervises the financial and managerial activities of the management board and reports to the General Assembly. The management board is responsible for recruiting a qualified executive committee, which includes the director, who later hires an accountant, sanitary technician and cashiers, for the operation and maintenance of the water system. The General Assembly agrees on the initial contribution to be levied on each household. The General Assembly also agrees on the initial tariff structure based on a full cost recovery approach which covers the cost of electricity consumption, 
the salaries of the workers, other miscellaneous items, as well as the amortization of the initial investment. The villagers initiate a number of competitive tenders for the selection of the following. A design company, suppliers of materials, and a construction company. Together with the Mahala representatives, the management board must obtain the required construction permission from the competent authorities. Villagers formally agree on the draft technical details and project layout, including associated costs presented by the design company. All these activities are implemented in a transparent and participatory manner. The combined expertise of the design company and the management controlled by the DWO members ensures the quality and cost of products and outputs. All items procured through the tender, such as pipes, pumps, fittings, meters, valves and reservoirs, should be of good quality. Once the design is ready and approved by the DWO members, the selected construction company is contracted. Each step and each operation should be checked by the DWO and the design company to ensure a good quality product. For the long-term running of the system, it is important to choose good quality pumps that do not consume too much electricity and do not break very often. All state construction rules and standards must be respected and implemented. At the end of the day, quality work ensures both the effective operation and the sustainability of the safe water systems. The proposed approach allows for covering just one settlement with a single water source as well as several settlements using a single water source. The system is ready for operation. It needs qualified people to run it, namely the executive committee. And based on the actual construction costs, the General Assembly agrees on the final tariff. What makes this water system sustainable? Water price must be transparent and approved by the General Assembly. The regular supply of water results in timely payment for consumed water by the villagers ensured by a high-performing executive committee. The applied tariff is based on the principles of full cost recovery, including amortization. Water quality should be monitored regularly by the sanitary and epidemiological services.
safe drinking water certainly contributes to better health, but must be supported by improved hygiene and improved public toilets. Katar keserlikler, tiyer keserlikler, bundan teşkara balalarımızda gece keserliklerin hayatı kopya bitkenede. Hazır ilk günde gece keserlikler ve tiyer keserlikler keskin kemerde. Keskin kemer işi ki sebep sebep ham şu taze su içimlik su bilen temelen geldi gibi oldu. Halkımız ge taze içimlik su kirgenden kigin. Clean water combined with better hygiene and improved public toilets in schools, kindergartens and medical points results in a considerable reduction of waterborne diseases. Simple solutions exist to improve the daily life of the rural population. The sustainable water supply contributes to the development of small private enterprises and promotes the increase of living standards. For more detailed information, a manual is available to guide villages on building and managing their own individual water supply system. A rural community interested in having access to safe drinking water may apply to the local authorities such as the relevant Mahala committee or ask for this manual in one of the project offices whose addresses are as follows. <laughs>